UFC lightweight division bout. It's it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you wanna touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. So lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the coach. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Big head kick. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Single collar tied out. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Counter left there. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. Big ball from punch land. Now we get back to range. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to know if that was the right time. Nice kick. Oh, wow, those leg kicks are already taking effect. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Another leg kick land. Nice punch by Lee. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check them, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kick, he'll just pop a jab up. Get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. And he lands the knee to the body now. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, hollow tie. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking round early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing it for a long And potentially a critical takedown here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Position. Now watch it go parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish. Nice well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. 
solid strike on the ground. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. Oh, looks like he's trying to isolate an arm, maybe set up a Kimura here, DC. Yeah, he's gonna try to attack. Oh! He has a turn on the elbow, and he's gonna chase the submission finish. This fight, folks, you see he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing but he can't take many more like that. Slice broken good. There's a lot of blood. He can't go much more. You ready? You ready? Fight! Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. There as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad. Now he has to find one more strike in the night. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm gonna shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attacks, young man. Oh, a little single collar tie there. He gets to his spot, the top. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest. Oh, he might have got it with the choke. Right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten the out. Just go for the finish. Close guard. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Can he take? <laughs> Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, you did a ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lou. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off of his back. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. 
All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, he got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Now he's able to isolate that left arm. Look for him to step over the top of the head. And this might just be a matter of time. Submission defense there. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing in the half guard, in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Big punch land for the middle. Good job understanding the transition. All right, round three coming up next. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take the attack. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever... Whoa! Go get him. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with a beautiful leg kick. Oh, big left hook there. Nice knee to the body by Lee. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, big punch land. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Watch the shot. Just misses there with the left. Big power shot there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie. Some nice back and forth action here. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, Jim. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time. 
stuffs the takedown. No problem. Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Spinning back fist is there. He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, oh he gets back up. The question is for how long? Nice one, two there. Big elbow! Just unable to quite find that range. Well, looks as though his left hand, you can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, there's the head kick, it's blocked. That's a big strike right there. Stuffs the take down there. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish. Oh. He's broke. He's hurt bad. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Back to the feet. Oh, he got it bad. Oh! Oh, now he snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Oh, the TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Not every day you see a fight end due to a body kick like that. He used a lot of body work to slow down his opponent. Once his opponent slowed down, he was able to really impose his will on him and get the finish in such a high-profile fight. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the victory by TKO. Huge result inside the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 15 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon Lee.